We've come to give God the glory. To give God the glory. Oh yes, we've come. Oh yes, we've come to give Him praise. To give Him praise. We come. We come to give Him the honor. To give Him the honor. Let's magnify Him. Let's magnify Him. All of our ways. In all of our ways. Who are we? We're interceding, Christian Center. We hope that you felt welcome. From the time that you entered into the house of the Lord. Glory unto God in the highest. Once again, Apostle Dr. Schaefer and my lovely wife. Mm -hmm, Pastor Tina. To God Almighty be the glory, Pastor Tina. Uh, quite a few weeks ago, I wanted to say one, two, it's, it's been going by so fast. A few weeks ago, we started the Bible study series that's entitled. The Marks of a True Christian. Thank you. Amen. She know that I ain't forgetting the title. <laughs> but I've been enjoying the message very well. And I, you know, so <clears throat> we started that Bible study and uh, we actually started off in uh, chapter 12, I believe it was. Mm, uh, yeah, I believe it, it mm. was. Yeah. Chapter 12. Amen. Amen. And we're going to continue on that Bible study teaching on this evening, on this mm. evening. Amen. 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 On a moment here, we're getting ready to. We're going to get ready to uh, launch the rest of that Bible study on this evening. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, we're in chapter 14 now. Yes. We are. Wow. The, the marks of, of a true Christian. Amen. Amen. So get your Bible and get ready to go with us to the book of uh, Romans chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Romans <laughs> chapter 14, around about verse um, 13. 13. Amen. Verse 13. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Pastor Tim, you're going to pray for us this evening. Sure. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify yes, you, Lord God. We honor you, Father, for who you are, Lord God. And not just for what you do, but just for being who you are, Lord yes. God. And we just thank you that you are so full of love and, and so compassionate, Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord God, for receiving us into your kingdom, Lord Jesus. God. We thank you, Lord God, for the plan of salvation and Father, we just thank you, Lord God, for the understanding of your word, Lord God, and just having a desire to be in right standings with you. Father, we're just praying that you open up our Jesus. understanding on today. Lord God, that those who, Lord God, are listening in and those who will listen in, Lord God, I just pray, Lord God, that they receive something from you, Lord God, that will enlighten their minds, Lord God, and, and will arouse them to want to do more in the kingdom yes, and more Lord. in in their lives lord god as oh, far Jesus. as glorifying you father mm. father your will be done through each mm. and every one of us lord god just bless the study on tonight father god you just take the will you reign oh, over Shoot. us lord god your will be done mm. in jesus name, in name jesus. amen 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 get your bible now going to romans chapter 14 Mm -hmm. There we go. Marks of the true Christian. Glory unto God. We'll get this thing to change screens here in a minute. Hallelujah. Amen. It just doesn't want to do what's right. There we go. Amen. <laughs> it, it's trying to have a mind of its own loose right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> okay. Romans chapter 14, verses 13 and 14. And would you read uh, verse 14 for us, Pastor Tina? I'm going to read verse 13. Verse 13 says, let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge this rather that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Amen. 14 reads, I know and I am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is none unclean of itself, but to him that esteemed anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. We, my God, you know, this, this actually begins to, uh, well, let me hit verse 13 first. Amen. First of all, let us not judge, therefore, one another. What it's really talking about it's getting into what is called preferences. Right. You know, the Lord gave us preferences. Not only he gave us free will, right? He has enforced us to follow him. He didn't force us to follow him, but we know it's the right way to follow him. But also, just like there are many different colors of flowers, different fragrances, 
And as many fragrances as there are, there are people who have a preference for that given fragrance or that particular flower or that particular fruit or color or whatever, right? Wow. So the Lord is, or, or the apostle Paul is saying right here is don't take these superficial things that God has given you free will over mm -hmm. and try to impose mm -hmm. them upon other people. Mm -hmm. Because when you do that, what you actually end up doing is you placing an opportunity for someone else to stumble mm -hmm. because they feel like, well, they're wrong when they're not, may not even be wrong or nowhere near wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, 14, I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there's nothing unclean of itself, nothing unclean of itself. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, he's talking about choices now, mm -hmm. choices. Mm -hmm. There's nothing unclean of itself that is within the choices that, that you make, that the Lord gives you to make, mm -hmm. that you can make, mm -hmm. that he has no issue with at all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Based on what your desire, your likes are and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is what he's talking about. But some people may say, well, I don't like that flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. You know, some people like rock and roll ice cream. Some people cannot stand rock and roll ice cream. Some right. people like the color blue. Some mm -hmm. people can't stand the color blue. Right. It is the soul of that person that makes the determination what they like and what they don't like mm -hmm. in this vein right here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And we know that um, the Apostle Paul in chapter 13, he kind of laid out some things yes that, yes you know the bible specifically states that is an abomination oh amen okay? I forgot and about so, that you're right yeah and so in, in chapter 14 you know the early part of chapter 14 you know paul identified that you know there were gonna you know that there that there were mature christians and there were you know immature, immature right. christians are in another word he mentioned that um that there were weak Christians. Mm -hmm. and there, are, there are stronger Christians. Yes, the weak yes. are believing that they have to do A, B, and C in order to, you know, mm -hmm. um, maintain their salvation, whereas the stronger understand, you know, cer certain things. Mm -hmm. um, and so he was encouraging us, you know, because there are those things that, um, you know, are specifically identified in the word as mm -hmm. an abomination. abomination and then there are some mm -hmm. that you know we we judge mm -hmm. others because of our per personal preference yes yes you know yes, like the yes. examples that he gave in cha in chapter 14 you know some people esteem one day above, above the, other. the other you know and mm -hmm. some people feel that you cannot eat certain things mm -hmm. you know and so mm -hmm. there are some things that you know we also in this era that we're in some christian deem them to be a sin as others don't right exactly you know? yeah. exactly um for example we can throw one out there, throw one out there. <laughs> for example smoking you right. know uh, <laughs> smoking mm -hmm. you know i don't feel me personally i i don't smoke mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know but we'll smoke and send you to hell you know um, some Christians feel like yeah, it will. does, right, and then right? Other Christians feel like it doesn't. You know? right. So <laughs> those are the things that the Bible does not state. Do not smoke a cigarette. You right, know what right, I mean? right, right. And I'm not encouraging anybody. Don't get this wrong. I'm not encouraging no, anybody no, 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 to smoke. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And and I'm not condemning anybody. For you smoking. know, but there there are some things that is not clear, right? You know, in the word and. And instead of being concerned about those small things, you know, mm -hmm. you know, we should, you know, be concerned about our brother's soul, right. which brings us to this part of Romans 14, uh, whereas we need to be mindful, you know, not to tear our brother down to the point where he, he loses it altogether. Amen. Tear him down. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Now. As I'm as I'm talking, as we're talking about this, I heard what you said. Um, smoking, for instance, mm -hmm. cigarette smoking. Mm -hmm. Now, there's nothing in the Bible that says that smoking is going to send you to hell. Mm -hmm. Right. But because we are created in the image of God, and mm -hmm. here's an example. Mm -hmm. God basically mm -hmm. gave us 10. OK, the temple by mm -hmm. the temple. God basically gave us 10 commandments that we were supposed to follow. Right. Mm -hmm. The Jews codified over 600 more. Mm -hmm. And because they codified those as breaking the law, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. it became the law to them mm -hmm. right okay right. Exactly. same thing here you know mm -hmm. uh someone that esteems something to be unclean right is automatically unclean human unless to, to god him. specifically right. said mm -hmm. something right and God specifically says certain things are unclean, certain things are abominations, certain things. But don't add extra abominations to yourself. Mm -hmm. OK, the word of God did not say that Gentiles had to be circumcised, mm -hmm. though we know for a good cause it's a good health thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But the Bible does not specifically say that we had to be circumcised. Right. So it's, it's, uh, it's just a matter of knowing truly truly knowing and having a relationship with the Lord that's real important mm -hmm. and be very conscious right. not to place more on people than God has placed on. on them. Amen. 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 Are we a beep? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Verse 15. But if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walketh thou not in charity. Destroy not him with thy meat for whom Christ died. 16. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. Wow. So if your brother is offended because you're eating, uh, uh, you know, pig feet mm -hmm. in front of him. Right. And he, he think that's a grievous sin. sin. That's right. a grievous sin. Uh -huh. You driving him away from the truth. Mm -hmm. You driving him even away from the faith. Mm -hmm. Church hurt. It could be church hurt there, right? Okay. If you are doing this in front of him, Paul is saying, are you walking in charity? In other words, are you walking in love? Mm -hmm. Are you walking in love? Mm -hmm. Put aside the pork feet while he's there. Okay? Right, right. Put it aside. Right. right? But especially if you know he's he or she will be offended. Right. You know, by those things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let not then your good be evil, evil spoken, spoken of. of. You know, some people say, well, there's nothing wrong with eating pig. Some people say there is some wrong with eating pig, right? Okay. You say there's nothing wrong with it. So it's it, to you, it's good. Mm -hmm. So it's not a problem there. Mm -hmm. But Paul said, let not then your good, what it is that you don't think that you have a problem with. Exactly. Be evil spoken, spoken of. of right. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Amen. goodness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the word do the let work. Let the word do the work. <laughs> Amen. I'll let you control this button. Amen. Verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness. Oh, glory unto God. I can lift my hands and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Wow. Mm -hmm. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. What do you think of that? Those things, you know, some of the things that, you know, people um, judge people over mm -hmm. is not, you know, it's not, it's, it says for the kingdom of God, of God is not meat and drink. So mm -hmm. it's not like those things. I'm going to send you to hell or <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. But it's righteousness. Mm -hmm. righteousness, righteousness, and peace, joy. So those there are things that you know that are not you know important. Mm -hmm. You know when it comes to somebody's salvation, salvation. right? You know what I mean. Um, but what is important is that you're being in right standing with God. You know, you treating your brother um, with love. Now love, we're not talking charity. about mm -hmm. correction. Now mm -hmm. there is correction. We right. have to correct right. when we right. see a wrong. Right. You know, but we're not to condemn. Let the wrongs be what God has mm -hmm. specified as wrong. Right. And and Paul, um, he mentioned in the previous set of, of, of scriptures, you know, that we are to be be mindful, you know, be mindful of, of you know, uh, the weaker Sites yes that, that are yes more, that seem to be a little legalistic right you right know? right right yeah. and you know and don't do things that make them judge you mm. unfairly right. or wrong because as they judge you they are judged too. they are judged right oh my mm -hmm. god my god but there are god. things that are important you know and that that is righteousness being in right standing with god you know loving god and loving your neighbor yes. 
you know, yes. being concerned for your neighbor <clears throat> mm -hmm. and having peace, you know, following peace with all men mm -hmm. and holiness, and holiness, you know, um, having a joy in, in the Holy Ghost, you know, just imagine just going around, just being, um, looking at things in a negative or dark way. You know, yeah, that does yeah. not bring peace and no joy, edification at all. You know, but if you and and a lot of times, you know, I feel like um I'm judged because I choose not to look at the the negatives in people's lives. I always look to, you know, look at the positives in people's lives. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes I I don't see it. You know, I, I see I try to see the good, you know. Um but you know there are some people that when they look at a, a, a situation or an individual they see the dark you know and just constantly see the dark mm. okay amen okay for the kingdom of god is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the holy ghost mm -hmm. for he that in these things serves christ is acceptable to god so Paul is referencing back to the last part of verse 17, mm -hmm. righteousness, mm -hmm. peace, joy mm -hmm. in the Holy Ghost. Right. Those things that you are do acceptable. are acceptable mm -hmm. unto God. Mm -hmm. You're serving Christ. Mm -hmm. So as you serve Christ, you become acceptable to God, mm -hmm. acceptable to God and approved of men. Right. Wow. How does that fit into there? Exactly. And approved of men. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Because you're not going around, you know, stirring up the pot. <laughs> All right, 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 right. Well, I mean, I think that's one thing that we find in Christendom that we have to be very careful of. It's so easy to fall into gossip. Yes, it is. So easy to begin to just speak bad of folks mm -hmm. when you don't even know. Right. You completely, you you completely oblivious to what's really going on. Mm -hmm. And since you don't know, it's best just to keep it to yourself. Right. Amen. Right. Or, or let the lord lead let you the lord lead you because when he's leading you you can't go wrong but if you're leading yourself you know mm -hmm. then everything can fall apart everything wow verse 19 let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace mm -hmm. and things wherewith one may edify another mm -hmm. i'll let you read 20 for me destroy not the work of god all things indeed are pure but it is evil for that man who eateth with offense <laughs> okay mm -hmm. okay amen amen let us therefore fall after things which make for peace right love joy peace in the holy ghost fall mm -hmm. after those things follow peace with all men mm -hmm. you said right uh -huh. and things wherewith one may edify another yeah. one whereas we can build each other uh, uh, up right. build each other up this is not telling you don't speak the truth when you see the truth right but it's saying just be very conscious not to tear pour down. more mm -hmm. tear down or pour more on people than mm -hmm. what the bible is telling you to do the instructions are telling you to do mm -hmm. because you know i've i've been in church for a long time and um you know i just choose to see you know, the positive part of it, you know, and when something negative is going on around me, sometimes I don't even see it. <laughs> sometimes, you know, it's it's brought to light and I'm like, wow, that was going on. Because see, when I come, when I go to church, I, it's, it's a time for worship. It's not a time for gossip. It's not a time for looking around and seeing what everybody is doing and knowing everybody's business mm -hmm. you know what i mean right so right. sometimes things come up and i'm like really hmm yeah i didn't know that you know well, because i choose not to in in, in in indulge in all of the negative stuff well god has great hope for us mm -hmm. and though god knows the truth mm -hmm. and though we may uh have an uh a inkling mm -hmm. of the truth of something mm -hmm. we still should work toward what we know is best mm -hmm. have the great hope in others that god has him exactly amen exactly i agree with that for me destroyed not the works of god mm -hmm. okay it's referring back to the previous verses mm -hmm. meat does not destroy the work of god mm -hmm. okay you eat all the crazy meat you want to mm -hmm. right 
Eat it all you want to, as long as you present it to the Lord and you pray over it, right? Mm -hmm. Do that. that, that is, it doesn't destroy the work of God. That is meat that, you, that some choose to eat and mm -hmm. some choose not, not to, to eat. eat. Exactly, you know I mean? exactly. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for the man who eat it with offense. When the man feel like it's not pure, we feel like it's unclean, it's wrong, then it's unclean, then it's wrong to them. Not, then he should not Don't eat. partake of it. Be exactly. delivered from that. Exactly. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, and then the same thing, you know, for someone who feel like they can eat it, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 not be, you know, feel a conviction in them in their right. heart. Right. It's okay for them to, but if it offends your brother, then you, you know, you take yeah, you you pull back pull from back doing, from it. doing yeah. it. Yeah, right. Yeah, don't do things to offend people on purpose. You exactly. see that in church. Just, you see that, right? Oh, I can do this. You're oh, flaunting you your over, liberties. Get over yourself, right? right. You flaunt. You're liberties. flaunting your liberties. You're not right. supposed to flaunt our liberties, though Amen. it may be free to you. Paul talked about that as well in another uh, mm -hmm. book. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse 21, 22, and 23. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Verse 21. It is good neither to eat flesh nor to drink wine nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth or is offended or is made weak. Right. Verse 22. 22. Have, have, have thou faith, have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. Verse 23. And he that doubted is damned if he eat because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith it's is sin. sin. Wow. Okay, so it's not good mm -hmm. to eat some. Verse 21, it's not good to eat something mm -hmm. that offends you mm -hmm. or offends your brother. Mm -hmm. If it offends your brother, it can cause your brother to stumble, mm -hmm. cause him to stumble. And as he stumbles, it can weaken his very faith. Mm -hmm. There, there are some people who are so legalistic that they see things in the Bible and you know things such as when the Lord was talking to Moses one time, uh, and I like to use this illustration all the time, the, mm -hmm. the Lord asked Moses, have my arms waxed short? Mm -hmm. People run around saying, God got short arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, my God, come on, mm -hmm. come on. You know, Jesus saying a, a camel going through an eye of a needle. If you don't understand the context of what he was saying, then you'll be thinking, well, I'm going to tell this, Hamel, go to his eyes his knee. Right. Go to his eyes his knee. Mm -hmm. No, you got to be careful because you can destroy people's faith. Right. You can destroy their faith if you become uh, dogmatic or if you become judgmental right. of those who are dogmatic. Amen. Amen. Verse 22, hast thou faith? Do you have faith? Mm -hmm. Have it to thyself before God. If you got faith and you don't have any problem with that meat, that drink, or whatever it is that you're doing, right? Amen. As long as God didn't specifically forbid it, Paul said, basically, pull away. Steal away. Mm -hmm. Go elsewhere. Don't be somewhere where you can be judged, mm -hmm. right? Don't be on the public square. Look at me. I'm smoking. I'm drinking. Look at me. I'm eating this pig feet, <laughs> right? No, no. He said, hive it to yourself. Draw, pull away. Amen. Mm -hmm. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he allowed. Right. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. And verse 23, and he that doubted is damned if he eat. That's that's those who eat in offense. Mm -hmm. Those who feel it's unrighteous Are to eat. Being up. pushed. To, being to pushed. Eat. Yeah. Are yeah. Forced yeah. To, you know. Forced to eat, partake of that thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he eat it not of faith. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever is not of faith. Is, is sin. sin, my God, mm -hmm. Hallelujah! You want to take crack at some of that? Mm -hmm. Ooh wee, my God, my God! I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God! Because you know, I I'd like to dig a little bit deeper into verse 22 here. Mm -hmm. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he allowed. Talk about that for a moment. I want to make sure I got the right understanding of that. Which part? But it says, happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he allowed. Happy is he that condemneth not himself. Because, I mean, my understanding is that if you're not condemned of, of something, mm -hmm. 
It says, happy is he that condemned. Okay, so if you're not condemned of, of doing something that your brother feels is mm -hmm. uh, a condemnation and, and you flaunt it, you know, um, in their, their face, then you're not going to be happy. But if you sustain from that. Abstain. Yeah, mm -hmm. so abstain, excuse me, from that thing. Um, it, it makes you happy because yes. you're, you're doing something that, um, causes your brother to flourish. Right. That's, exactly. That's what I think. It's, it's yeah. like Paul was saying, uh, it's like he's saying, listen, don't be tearing yourself down about something that's not specifically forbidden by God. Mm -hmm. You, it'll make yourself unhappy mm -hmm. if you're doing that. Mm -hmm. You condemn right. me yourself. Exactly. Huh? Right. When you have said that, oh, I, I have no problem with this. The Bible has no problem. I have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. My God, my God. And he that doubts is damned if he eat because he's not a faith. Well, whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Mm -hmm. When you do things and you don't have any faith, then you're mm -hmm. sinning. Mm -hmm. You're sinning. That's all that says simply. You know, this has been one phenomenal Bible study mm -hmm. part of the series, amen, right. and our teaching and stuff, mm -hmm. amen. Romans chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Oh, beloved, and this he, is awesome. I mean, and he, I mean, he went into to death, uh, you know, about Christian living. Christian living, yes. Um, yeah, and really, um, about how we are to love one another. Yes, yes, it's yes. It's very, yes. very, very important, you know, that we do. Amen. We do. Amen. Yeah. And that's and this, and this to ahead. me, this study is one that will raise a lot of um questions. Yes, it will. Um, you know, because everybody have their their personal opinion about about things, but the main thing is to not do anything that you're convicted in your heart about mm -hmm. and, and nobody, you know, don't let nobody change how change your conviction. Right. You know, because your conviction is between you and God, you know, and, and, and when you're doing things and you have a conviction about something, it's because you wanting to please God. And this is the only way yes. that you know how yes. to please God. Yes. You yes, know, so, yes, yes. Like, um, for instance, in the Bible, we talk about Samson, right? Mm -hmm. Samson was a Nazarite, mm -hmm. okay? Nazarene, okay? Samson didn't cut his hair. Samson wasn't supposed to take strong drinks because this was the vow that he had made unto God. That he had made to God. Mm -hmm. But there were other people in Israel that were cutting also, their hair. They right. were cutting their hair, and right? They, and they, they were partaking of drink, right? right? Mm -hmm. Because they hadn't taken the Nazarene vow. Mm -hmm. So this is different. Right. You know, this just this shows you that mm -hmm. these were acts as a sacrifice right. unto God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, the, and the main thing is not the not to run them off, run them away, mm. you know, because of, you know, their beliefs. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Um, Bless God. This yeah, is all. But this is one that it, it, it's a study that will raise a lot of controversy. It sure will. It, it sure it, will. It, it will. But, you know, you follow what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Don't add. Mm -hmm. Don't add to the burden of this walk. Mm -hmm. Just follow what the Bible says. Right. Okay. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved. If the Lord so touched your heart and you want to be a blessing interceding Christian Center, you can be a blessing by going to the Android or the Apple Store, downloading the Cash App or the Giveify app. Mm -hmm. If you choose to bless us using the Giveify app, uh, look for Interceding Christian Center in West Memphis, Arkansas. Or alternatively, you choose to bless us using the Cash App. Our identification is dollar sign interceding CC. Thank God for those who bless us often. Before I forget, beloved. This Bible study here is part of an overall series that we've been doing for about two years called the Pillars of Our Faith. Mm -hmm. In the Pillars of Our Faith series, we have touched on really Christian living. Mm -hmm. There are some things that are specific that God says about Christian living, the way Christians should live. Right. Okay. So we haven't stepped outside of the four gospels, which are the basic essentials of our faith. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing is we're going into the practical side mm -hmm. of living this Christian walk. Mm -hmm. So the Bible study series that's entitled the 
overall series called The Pillars of Our Faith mm -hmm. includes probably eight or nine Bible studies. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's so many of them, and I mean, they're very powerful. Yeah. Go to our YouTube channel, which is Interceding CC, like, subscribe, uh, share with your friends, your neighbors, your enemies, <laughs> share with people so that they will be blessed by the ministry of interceding Christian sinner to God almighty be the glory. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. We praise you for your mercy and grace, which endures to all generations. We ask, oh God, that you would just guide us throughout this day, Lord God. Allow this word to be received of those, oh God, that, that, that their ears not be spiritually stopped up, but their ears are open to receive in their heart, oh God, this Bible, that your word be written on the tables of their hearts so that they may not sin against you. Now we thank you and bless you and glorify you in advance. It's in the matchless name of Jesus we do pray. Thank God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. God bless you, beloved. Once again, Apostle Dr. Schaefer, my lovely wife. I'm Pastor Tina. God bless. Love God you. God bless you. I pray that you enjoyed the word today and that it touches you within a deep place in your heart and it will spark a change that should come about in your life. If the Lord so touched your heart and you have a desire to give, you can give to this ministry as we continue to make impacts in this city at our Givelify app. Simply download the Givelify app at one of the app or the Google store and look for Interceding Christian Center. Here at Interceding, we aspire to bring people to spiritual knowledge and thus victory. God bless you.